Hello, this is Martin Giese from the University of Oslo, and I'll guide you through a demo of the Optique system. We'll start with an introduction of the project, then give you an overview of the components of the system, then I'll show you the visual query formulation interface, and finally, a tour of the installation wizard. In data-intensive industries, engineers with no IT training need to access large amounts of data in corporate data stores for their daily work. Now this is a challenging task because it is impossible to train these users to write the queries to access the data themselves. The typical solution is to provide specialized domain-specific applications that run predefined queries on the data sources and provide the data required for the most common tasks. But as soon as more advanced tasks are needed, the predefined sets of queries are not sufficient. In these cases, the engineers will go to their IT help desk and ask the database experts to help in translating their information needs into specialized queries over the data sources. In these industries, access to IT experts turns out to be a major bottleneck. Understanding both the domain and the data sufficiently to do these translations takes years of training. The IT department is typically overloaded and engineers will have to wait days or even weeks to get the response and the data they need. In addition, misunderstandings between the engineers and IT experts can lead to the need for several iterations in the data access process. In oil industry, it turns out that engineers will spend up to 30 or 70 percent of their time on data access. What is needed is a way for end users to access the data themselves. One of the main theses of the Optique project is that ontology-based data access can be a way to give end users direct access to their data. The idea of OBDA is that users formulate queries according to a domain ontology that formalizes their own vocabulary. A set of mappings then connect the terms in the ontology to what is found in the databases. Technically, this is solved by a query processing component that takes the query as well as the ontology and mappings and rewrites queries into a sequence of queries that are sent to the databases. The results are then sent back typically to existing visualization or analytics applications that the end users are used to. This has several advantages. One is that the ontology formalizes the language of the user. The user no longer needs to know about how or where the data is stored exactly. The knowledge of the IT expert about how the domain vocabulary relates to the data storage is recorded in the mappings. Existing OBDA systems have a number of severe limitations that we will address in the Optic project. This demo will concentrate on two of them. One is the question where queries come from. End users can't be expected to author Sparkle queries even if the RDF vocabulary is similar to their domain language. The other question is where the ontology and mappings come from. These will typically be expensive to produce. The Optique platform addresses these issues by providing both an end-user-oriented query formulation component and an ontology and mapping management component. Let me give you some information about the Optique project. It is an FP7 EU project running for four years from November 2012. Its aims are to address the issues of today's OBDA systems and to develop the next generation OBDA system. The development is driven by two large industrial use cases, one from Statoil and one from Siemens. Version 1.0 of the Optique platform consists of a number of components. The underlying platform is based on Fluid Operations Information Workbench that we have extended for our purposes. For a query formulation, we have constructed a visual query formulation tool in Sparkle Editor. For answer visualization in this demo, we have been using the uh, table widgets in the Information Workbench, as well as the Open Layers Map widget and maps from OpenStreetMaps. For query processing, we have integrated the ONTOP framework for ontology-based data access. The reasoner used is Hermit, and for ontology and mapping bootstrapping, we have developed our own components based on new techniques. For ontology bootstrapping, exporting direct R to RML mappings. For ontology alignment, the LogMap tool. And for ontology approximation, novel approximation techniques. For this demo, we wanted to show you an example from the petroleum domain. Now, of course, that all internal data is confidential, so we could not use that. 
we decided instead to use the NPD fact pages. This is public data curated by the Norwegian Petroleum Directorate. It contains information about oil fields, companies, wells, etc. At the University of Oslo, we have converted this data from convert separated values into a relational database. The NPD fact pages are not a toy example. They are actually an important source of information for Statoil engineers and will be integrated with Statoil internal data in the course of the project. We will now continue with the demo of the system, first giving you a general overview, then showing you different ways of formulating and answering queries, and finally showing you the installation wizard that gets ontologies and mappings in place.